a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. Feeling change, 
deep, but my heart yearns for you. I don't feel complete, even when it's going right. When I'm missing you, Lord, please come into my life. Loving you the real test, not to love you to get blessed. And yes, I know that you the best. So here I am to worship, sacrifice my life so you can work it. How you see fit for your glory is worth it. Everything else can take a backseat. Running to your throne for your mercy like a track me. Why you have to ask me? I don't understand. Without you, Lord, how can I be a real man? I ain't gon' try. I give you all of me, Lord, and ride till I die. Put my Here feet to the floor. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. All together That's my only option After you ripped the veil And gave me the gospel So I could see the truth So I could walk with you And that's the greatest thing That anyone can ever do You really saved my life When I was worse at it An addict on any level For pleasure, pain, and passion I could never grasp it Cause it's never lasted But Lord, you everlasting I burnt my flesh Yes Wow, we are here. Finally, we are back. Welcome to another Sunday with us with your boy, Dre. And I'm telling you, it has been quite, and I do mean quite, well, quite the new year. I mean, 2022 is gone. We are in 2023. 2023, guys, and that's a lucky number. I'm telling you, that's a blessed number for us all. Forward to it. I'm telling you, wow. Well, you know what? <laughs> I know I say it a lot, and and matter of fact, I say it quite often. I might say it all the time, but I really do mean it this time. I'm serious. Uh, of course, not like I didn't mean it the last time or the time before the last time, but I really didn't miss you guys. And I'm so glad you took out just a small amount of your time to share with me for another Sunday with Nuts with your boy Dre. Now, let's just not – play around this thing 2023 and it is definitely time for us to help some people i know in 22 i helped a lot of people but now i'm going to turn it up a notch. let's get right into it let's go ahead and see if we can tickle some funny bones because tonight for 2023 we're going to start it off <laughs> with the comedy show wow here we go guys i know i usually help you out with helpful advice now I'm just going to help you out and tip you your funny bone because now this is scripture. 
laughter is food for the soul. It's good. It really is. All right. Let's get right into it. Now, first of all, I just want to tell you guys that uh, me, myself, uh, again, just uh, sharing a little uh, uh, things about myself. You know, I love everybody and, and, and I get along with everybody. But you know what? There's some things that uh, people do and, and it's hard to get along with. Them. But I'm going to tell you what. I cannot tell a lie, guys. <laughs> I had a dream. Yes, I did. I had a, I had an awesome dream. Last night I had the perfect dream, if you will. I had the perfect African-American dream. I'm going to tell you. In, in this dream, now, now just bear with me. In this dream, what happened was I woke up in this dream, and I, I get dressed, and, and I get in my car. In this dream, I am a black man with a black-owned business, which I own. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. But let me let me tell you about this dream. In this dream, it's the perfect black dream because I'm in my, I'm in, in my office at my black-owned business, and all of a sudden, one of my employees comes in, and he's telling me about this store that I've just got to see. I've got to go into this store. I've got to see it. It is incredible. It is unbelievable. Then he's going on and on about this store that that that, that he visited a couple of days ago, and he's telling me, I've got to go and see this store. It is the most incredible thing he's ever seen. And so I said, okay, huh, now I'm curious about this store. <laughs> and so I decided, you know, on my lunch break, hey, I'm going to go and visit the store. So I, I get the directions to the store from him. I put in my GPS, and here I am driving to this store. Now, I, I pull up and park into the parking lot. I get out of my black Mercedes Benz. I'm in my black three-piece suit, white shirt with black tie. I've got to break it up some kind of way. I've got on my black Stacy Adams. And I'm walking towards this store. Now, I, my, my, my pulse is just racing because I'm so excited. I, and I've heard so much in such a short time about this store. And so as I'm walking up to the, to the store and these huge glass doors, all of a sudden, automatically, as I get close, they fly open. But not fly, they, they cascade open. And I step through and then I look and <gasps> Wow, it is the most incredible, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. For in this store, this beautiful store, you have all these white people for sale. Wow. I mean... And, and, and I'm walking through this store, and, and of course on, on the on the uh, on the back racks, and 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 I see uh, hanging on the wall, and I see all these name brand white people. Gee whiz, the price on these things! These people are, I mean, this, I think they're overpriced. But wow! And then I look, of course, on the on on, on the racks uh, in this one section, they have the uh, middle class white people. And, and of course, uh, they're 30% off. Then, of course, in another section, they've got the uh, poor white people, uh, what, what some people consider, I guess, white trash, uh, not to be derogatory, but they are uh, buy one, get one free. And then as I'm walking and, and, and I look towards the front of the store, wow, there's this pile of White people all dirty and ragged and torn, their clothes all torn off of them, and and, and they're on clearance. They're 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 literally uh, buy ten get ten free. But I don't need that many. I'm just like so so I snatch the hand of this little white man, and throw him in my cart, and he looks at me. He says, "Please, sir, please, sir, whatever you do, don't break up my family. It's eleven of us. It's me, my wife, and our our, our nine kids. It's eleven of us. We're all we got." Please, please don't break up the family. I said, wait, hurry up, hurry up. Let's go, let's go. Because, I mean, my lunch break is all, almost over. I mean, it's my business. I own it. But still, hey, I got to go to work. I got to be responsible. So I, I, I pile them all into the shopping cart, and I, I, I 
moving towards the checkout, and there's someone in front of me in the checkout line. They're they're being checked out, and so while I'm waiting to be checked out, I look to the left, right above the gum. Of course, I see the magazine section, and it has some of my favorite magazines of all time: Ebony, Jet, Essence, and of course, one of my all-time favorites: Whitey, Whitey, Whitey. Squeeze his neck tight. And so naturally I open that up and I'm reading it and all of a sudden it's my turn. So I set the magazine down and then I, I, I move forward and I look up and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, wow. So I snatch the hand of this little baby and I sit him on top of the gun. All of a sudden this lady, this white lady that was in the, in, that's in my car, she says, oh, no, Howard, what is he doing? He, not our baby. Not our baby. Don't, don't, don't let him. Don't let him leave the baby. And then this little white man in the car says, please, sir, please, please, you promise not to break up my family. We're all we got, me, my wife, and our nine kids, the 11 of us. Please, you promise, you promise. And I looked at him and I said, look here, fool, can't you read? This line is 10 items or less. And I choked him and I pushed him back in the car and I checked out. Oh, man. <laughs> I woke up at that moment. You're talking about an awesome dream. That, to me, was the perfect African-American dream. Simply beautiful. Oh, no. Let me catch this tear that just fell. But I'm telling you, man, this has been quite the start of 2023, and, and of course, there's some things we left uh, back in 2022 that we definitely didn't want to bring into 2023. For instance, I tell you what, in 2022, I'm going to tell you what, I'm not bringing into 2023 bills. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not bringing no bills into 2023. I'm not. There's certain bills I'm not bringing into 2023, okay? And, and, and my thing is this. <laughs> Anything that has 2022 on it, if I ain't paid it, I'm not paying it. I'm not paying it. Take my money. I'm not paying it. Why? That's in the past. I'm not living in the past. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you what happened. Call me. Want to know what I was going to pay the, my back bill? I was like, look, <laughs> I've been had that bill since November 2022, and I ain't paid it. Okay? I'm not living in the past no more. Okay? Y'all should have, you know what? If I didn't pay it before January 1st of 2023, that should let you know I have no plans on paying it. I'm not looking back. I'm moving forward. And I hung up. I'm not carrying nothing from 2022 into 2023 that I don't want. I'm just not doing it. I'm not. Another thing I'm not carrying into 2022 and I'm not dealing with, I mean, 2023 that I'm not dealing with, I'm not dealing with these Karens. I'm not dealing with these white Karens. I'm not. Okay? My neighborhood, okay? We got, you know, I, I live I live in a, in, a, in a pretty nice neighborhood. And, of course, you know, um, we've got people that, you know, they, they watch things and, and they watch your house and stuff. And, you know, we got a, a community pool, you know. So, you know, I was at the uh, community pool uh, actually um, back in June, and I had a Karen incident. I'm going to tell you what happened now. Karen walks up to me at the pool, wants to know what my address is. And what am I and what am I doing here? Am I a guest of someone who lives in the community? I said, first of all, a little white lady, don't don't approach me like that. Okay. Okay. First is rude and disrespectful. And third, and this is the most important, you look horrible in a two piece. Okay, you really do. But yes, I live in this community. I'm not gonna give you my address because there ain't none of your dog gonna be in it. She said, well, if you don't tell me your address so I can verify you, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I said, you can ask all you want. Don't mean I'm going to do it. You ain't the boss of me. And let me tell you this. You look horrible in a two-piece. So then Karen had the nerve to make a stink about it. Then she had the nerve to call 911. This is what she said. She called 911 and reported a suspicious person at the pool, a suspicious black person. At the pool, police come. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna shorten it up. Police came. Ask me, where do I live for my address? I said, look, I ain't got to give that to you. He said, you better tell us where you live. I said, okay, I live in a house. He said, wait a minute. 
Which house? I say the house is by another house that's in between another house that's two houses down. He said, well, where is that? I said, uh, by a house. So then he started getting frustrated. He said, you know what? If you don't give us your address so we can verify that you're supposed to be here, then we're actually going to have to, we're going to make you leave. Or we're going to arrest you for trespass. I say, man, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. <laughs> so he arrested me for trespass. Okay. Took me down to this precinct, took my fingerprints, processed me in jail. I'm going to tell you what happened. And this is, and this is the best part of it. When he processed me, and, and, and I went, uh, I, I spent the night in jail. Next morning, got up at 9.30, went to court. Still before the judge. You know what the judge asked me? Mr. Ivory, do you have an attorney? I said, I sure do. Oh, where's your attorney? Uh, well, my attorney is right there. She said, what? Right there. All of a sudden, she look over, and it's the same white woman who's requesting that I prove that I belong at the pool and I live in that community. Let me tell y'all something. The more of their story is, <laughs> good or bad, happy or sad, white people are always going to do something stupid to make you mad. Now, let me tell you this. Uh, I'm a nice person, and you know I, I I try and get along with everybody. I really do. I, I I really do. But now, let me tell you something. I I can't stand no disrespect. I really can't. And and this is how I can't re- uh, understand how people try to disrespect you and think they can get away with it. Bill collectors don't know nothing about respect. Okay, I'm giving an example. About two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I was. Uh, at home, sitting on my couch watching some bootleg cable when my phone rang. All of a sudden, I answered the woman at the other end. Has nerve to say, uh, yes, is this the Andre Ivory, Mr. DeAndre Ivory? Uh, I said, yeah, that's who you called. Bill Collector said, uh, yes, this is Jennifer with AT&T, and I was calling to, uh, well, uh, find out when you uh, – Plan on paying your bill. Our records indicate you're almost two months past due, so I was calling to see when you plan on uh, resolving your bill. I said, "Wait a minute, who is this again? <laughs> who, who, who are you?" She said, "This is Jennifer with uh, AT&T." I said, "Wait a minute, Jennifer, how the hell you get this phone number?" She said, "Sir, I'm with AT&T. We are the phone company." I said, "I don't care who you with, Jennifer. This number is supposed to be private. People in that office got access to this private, unlisted number." She said, "Sir, that's beside the point." Now, we've tried to work with you on several different occasions, and we sent you several notices. Did you not receive them? I said, yeah, I, 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 I received them. Matter of fact, I noticed them in the mailbox. But see, my mama always told me, Jennifer, to stay away from trouble, so I left them in the box. But let me tell you something, Jennifer, from the phone company. Come to think of it, I was just sitting up here contemplating on whether or not I was going to write y'all a bad check and mail it to you to pay this in phone bill, but because of this rude phone call I just received, all bets are off. She said, Mr. Ivory, are you going to at least make a payment? I said, no, Jennifer, I ain't making no payment. She said, sir, we'll have to disconnect your service. I said, Jennifer, do what the hell you going to do. Hang up quick. Let me tell you something. They got my phone off. But luckily, luckily, <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson. I went to my local grocery store, signed up with a brand new phone company, twenty nine ninety nine a month. Got me a brand new phone. And here's the thing. <laughs> I made up in my mind that I was never gonna answer the phone if I reckon if I don't recognize the number. Because if I don't recognize the number, it's a bill collector and I don't want to talk to him. Now see, that's the beauty of it. See, when somebody calls your phone and it, it, it you don't want to talk to him, you ain't gotta to talk to him. So I'm sitting here a couple of nights ago <laughs> watching some old bootleg cable when all of a sudden my phone rang. Now naturally what I did was I looked at my phone to see who was calling. And I recognized that number. Oh man, that number. That that right there, woo, that was my brother's number. 
to my brother Dwayne number. Oh, man, I love my, man, my oldest brother, man, my youngest man, them my man, Dwayne and Brad, man. I, every time I get a chance to talk to my older or my younger brother, man, that just brings joy to my heart. Man, I love my brother. I can't wait to talk to my brother. Can't wait to hear his voice because it's music to my soul. I love my brother. Can't wait to talk to him and hear his voice. So I can't wait to just pick up this phone and say, hey, Wayne, what's up? But something stops me just as I went to accept that call. For it was then that all of a sudden I realized I still owed the way $16. Technically, he's a bill collector. Wow. Decisions, decisions. I can't. I can't talk to him until Friday when I get my paycheck. Wow. Y'all know, things happen to us in, in, in different times in our lives. And, you know, we just want to make sure that no matter what, it, we don't want we don't want people, the things that people do or say to us to change us, okay? We always want to stay who we are and be true to who we are. I'm going to give you an example of how to be true to yourself. Look here. Uh, I went to church. And I went visiting the church. And uh, I'll never forget. Uh, I went to church and I'm visiting this church. And so the man that the choir sang, man, and then and the man, I'm telling you, man, they just blew the roof out of the place. Woo! Gave me chills. Then the pastor spoke. I tell you what the pastor spoke. He he had a message. Woo! We it was just like, man, Jesus Christ himself was just speaking to me through him. Man, oh man, he delivered the word. It was a powerful word too. Well, I got caught up in it too. So at the end of uh, uh the service right before they closed out, he asked anybody uh, who was new or visiting the church to please stand up, and 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 so it was. Uh, there was three of us that stood up, and uh, he said, "You know, I want y'all to come on down and come on down, come to the front for for prayer. God is 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 showing me that 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 y'all need to come come up here for prayer." So it was me and and and, and two young ladies, and so. We uh, we went to the front and we all in line and he goes up to the first uh, lady and uh, he says uh, I need you to show money where your faith is um, I want you to reach down deep down and and and, and whatever God lay on your heart I want you to give to me and 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 give me that seed and. And I'm gonna pray and, and for God to give you whatever the desire of your heart is. So the lady reached in the purse, handed him something, and he started praying for her. Woo! She fell out on the floor. Hallelujah! Went up to the second one. Said the same thing. She reached into her purse, handed him something. Laid his hands on her, start praying for her. Hallelujah! Woo! She fell out. Jesus, good God Almighty, got to me. He said, son, whatever you need God to do, whatever you want him to do, you just tell me. I just need your, your seed of faith. I reach into my pocket, and whispered in his ear what I, uh, what I needed, what I wanted. He put his hands on me, start praying. Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, I fell out. <laughs> now, all three of us laid out. Some might say we were slain in the spirit. We all laid out crying and kicking and, 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 and rolling. And all of a sudden, we all started to come out of it and come to our senses and ourselves. And we helped each other up. We all huddled up. We all huddled up together and we all crying and, and we all comforting each other. So, uh, me and 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 the, and the second lady asked the first lady, "Well, what did the pastor tell you?" And the first lady said, "Well, I reached in my purse, I, I handed him a hundred dollar bill, and I said, 
I just want my husband back. And he said, when you go home, your husband's going to be there for you in the name of Jesus. And he prayed for me. I just believe it. I can't wait to get home. <laughs> I said, glory to God. So then I asked the, the second lady, well, what did he tell you? She said, well, I reached in my purse and I gave him a $50 bill. <laughs> and I told him I just want my son to be off them drugs. And he told me he's going to pray for me. And he said, within three days, my son's going to be sober and back home. Walter's oh, never going to touch another narcotic. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, yes, yes. Then both of them looked at me because I was still kind of tore up myself and, and snot bubbles coming down my nose and everything. And they said, well, well what did this pastor tell you? I said, oh. I said, oh. I said, what did he say? I said, oh. oh, oh. I said, what? Why? Jesus, why? I said, well, I reached in my pocket. And I, I pulled out a twenty dollar bill and I gave it to him. And, and, and I told him what I needed. And, and oh, I said, what? What? Oh, oh. I said, what? I told him what I needed. And, and then he said something to me that just, oh, my God. And, and just ran right to me. They said, what did he say? I said, when I gave him my $20, I told him what I needed. He said, I'm sorry, son, but the church don't give no change. <laughs> How am I get to go to the corral? <laughs> Jesus have mercy. Good God Almighty. Be yourself in 2023. Be yourself in 2023. Now, of course, we got the church announcements, and I would be remiss if I didn't invite you to join us as we get our praise and worship on, for we are the Jesus Hate the Wheel. I got the Gas Baptist Church. We are small in number, but we are big in faith. Let me say it again. We are small in number, but we are big in faith. Y'all know I like to do the church announcement. I want to make sure that everyone's kept abreast of what's going on with the body. There's no saint left behind. Everybody's on one accord and on the same page. I like to do the church announcements for individuals that may not have been able to attend the in-person services in, in the worship center or uh, may not have access to the Internet for the sick and the shut it up in. I also like to do the announcements for individuals that may have been in attendance to the uh, sanctuary uh, Worship or may have been Watching us as we stream live But missed some parts or all of the Announcements because they were busy running their Mouth about stuff they had no business Running their mouth about Let me tell you first of all Yeah The pastor smoked weed He do smoke weed But let me tell you Something I ain't breaking no law First of all I grow it and I smoke it Okay it's, it come out the ground. I mean, there's a Bible verse somewhere in, in in between the Old and the New Testament. It's in that Middle Testament, and it say, God make dirt, light it up and smoke it, and let it do the work. Yeah, I, I, now, I, you have to find that for yourself, but you got to dig deep into the words to find that, okay? All right. Announcement number one. Uh, Sister Maxine has uh, joined the church. And um, she's been asking for uh, help with her rent. Now, she got two kids, and apparently uh, she's about to lose her house. Good God Almighty. And I told her that the church is not going to let her and her kids be out on the streets not in times like this. We're a family. Now, she's been in there. And she's been in church. This is her second week uh, being part of the family. So, uh, you know, uh, I told her that don't, don't worry about it. We're not going to let her and her kids be out in the street. So what I have done is I have uh, went to uh, Walmart and bought a tent, okay? And it's, a, it's, it's, it's three of them, but it's a five-person tent. 
so that way they ain't got extra room. And, I mean, they can have enough space to put a little dining area and a little living and a little living area, you know, like a little small love seat, a, a chair, whatever. But uh, yeah, I went and did that out the goodness of my heart. Okay, because I, I ain't, I'm not gonna let them kids be without no roof over their head. Okay. Announcement number two. Dick and Lonnie ain't been back to church in almost three months. And I just want to let uh, Dick and Lonnie know that the church misses him. The uh, reason why he ain't been back to church probably is because he owed me $75. And for some reason, he keeps, you know, uh, missing my call and not returning my calls or my texts. But let me tell you something, uh, Deacon Lonnie. The church misses you, but if I see you on the street and I'm in my Cadillac, I'm not going to miss you. I'm sure I'm not going to miss you with that Cadillac. I'm going to put that bumper to your bumper. You hear me? Announcement number three. Uh, Sister Darnell, I don't believe I'm saying this, but Sister Darnell has uh, uh, brother Darnell. Darnell. Uh, has requested that he no longer be uh, called a he or even a she. He is what's known as non-binary at this point, meaning he doesn't identify as male or female. Uh, I just want to let Darnell know, uh, I don't care what he goes by or how he identifies. The next time I catch him trying to go into the, uh, the women's room, he going to get choked the hell out. There you go. Because these choke outs, they are non-binary as well. They choke anybody the hell out. Anybody's neck will get choked the hell out. Don't matter. Finally, we come to the part of the announcement I always look forward to not looking forward to for it. It is the building fund total. As you know, the building fund uh, offers a little bit of everything. Intrigue, mystery, humor. Horror, but most of all, unpredictability. As of the day, the building fund has raised for 2023 your pastor's temperature. Well, thank you guys for joining me for another Sunday with us with Dre. It is 2023, and I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know what? I'm so looking forward to 2023 because this is going to be so huge for Elation Magazine. And Miss Kimberly Robinson, I love you, and I thank you and Elation Magazine for giving me such a wonderful platform in which I can use to help so many people because people need help, and I'm just the one to give it to them. You guys be blessed and not stressed. I'll see you next week. More nuts with more Dre Y because I'm a little bit hungry. I'm going to eat me a little bite to eat, put on just a little bit of weight. You guys take care, and I miss you already. Good night. He's my rock, he's the reason I can't stop 
Giving them praise until I drop He took me from the bottom all the way to the top That's why I tell the devil get back Get trapped with the word Click clack And you ain't never gotta wonder what my faith said I can do all things through Christ Did you get that? Chase God, not money, that's true fact I'm obese with belief, yeah, too fat My foundation's too strong so it can't crack I'm cool when life is rocking, no ace down He laid down his life like a flow, man That's why I go so hard and never go back I'm never searching for a blessing at all Cause he's my rock with my back against the wall Baking up joy like peanut butter cookies Get a taste of him and you might start juking Get the salary, hallelujah, got everybody looking Yes, sir, he's solid Ten toes down, he endows me with knowledge Provide strength when I'm weak in my body I bounce back with a fight like Ali For Rose, gotta know he don't play The big homie on the block with the most game I just lean on him like a brick wall Catch your back when you slack, make the big fall Put a big dog, thank you for the sacrifice Thank you, Lord, for giving life and sending down the Holy Christ For refuge and fortress and solitude I'm fixed up with a dancer like Adam Hill 